Until now, the major causes of death worldwide remains to be cancer and only modest improvement has been done in minimizing the morbidity and mortality of this disease. Around 95% of cancers are linked to poor lifestyle, and it takes around 20 to 30 years to clinically diagnosed. The International Agency for Research on Cancer, IARC, and American Cancer Society estimate that around 14.1 million cancer cases were diagnosed in the year 2012 alone with 8.2 million deaths globally. They also predicted that these number would double in 2030 with 13 million cancer deaths in 21.7 million cases. In men, prostate cancer is second most common cancer after skin cancer. All cancer-related death due to metastasis from prostate cancer accounts for 4 to 10 percent. Etiology of prostate cancer remains a baffling issue until now. A strong relationship subsists with family history and age was believed. In adoption studies, 4.8 percent environmental risk factor have also been quantified for prostate cancer risk, apart from that consumption of polyunsaturated fatty acids in overcooked fish, vitamin D deficiency and intake of red meat are included. Phoenix Dactylifera, Adjuadate, has high nutritive value and are consumed in Arabian Peninsula as an essential diet. Phoenix Dactylifera L have been mentioned in folk remedies of traditional Egyptian medicine and alternative medicine, for numerous health benefits including cancer treatment. According to a hadith, prophets saying, Saad, R, A, narrated that I heard Prophet Muhammad, PBUH, saying, if somebody takes seven Ajwa dates in the morning, neither magic nor poison will hurt him that day, Sahih al-Bukhari. Polyphenol rich and methanolic extracts of Ajwa dates were reported to inhibit colon cancer and breast cell line in vitro. The aim of our study was to evaluate the anti-cancer effects of the extract of Ajwa date on human prostate cancer cell line, PC3. Anti-proliferative effect was measured using MTT assay. The long-term effect of EAFAD was determined using colony assay. Different stains like Gemza and fluorescent stains, DAPI and acridine orange, ethidium bromide, measured morphological changes. Loss of mitochondrial membrane potential and increased oxidative stress were measured using JC1 and DCFHDA dyes. DNA degradation was analyzed by comet assay. Cell cycle distribution was measured by flow cytometer. The apoptotic cell was quantified by annexin VFITC and propidium iodide dual staining using flow cytometer. PC3 cell line was treated with ethyl acetate fractions of adjuadates, EAFAD, to study their morphological and cellular changes and induction of apoptosis. MTT assay showed the strong inhibitory effect of EAFAD on PC3 cells. Loss of mitochondrial membrane potential and increased oxidative stress were observed in EAFAD-treated cells, which suggested mitochondrial involvement in apoptosis. Comet assay proved DNA fragmentation induced by EAFAD. Flow cytometer results demonstrated that inexin VFITC and propidium iodide staining showed that EAFAD induced apoptosis and arrest the cell cycle in S phase. In conclusion, our results suggested EAFAD has potential therapeutics properties for prostate cancer. For details, refer to our research paper Induction of Apoptosis and Cell Cycle Arrest by Ethyl Acetate Fraction of Phoenix Dactylifera L, Adjuadates, in Prostate Cancer Cells Journal of Ethnopharmacology, Volume 218, the 23rd of May 2018, pages 35 to 44. Thanks for watching.